Um, this is something that, as I was driving home last week on Sunday night that the Lord gave me, um, I was tired and exhausted, and it just kind of came. So I really wanted to share it with you guys. Um, this this is a, a cup, and when I was in college, I made this um, in a ceramics class. Um, I took a ball of clay, and I, I created it by hand, um, and I, I made a whole series of these, and each one of them looked different. And what the Lord gave me is that this, this is you guys. You have a creator, and you have a creator who individually made you uniquely. None of you look the same, um, but I made this with a purpose. Um, as you can tell, it's a cup. I made this for a purpose. There's supposed to be water or something that's supposed to be held in it. Um, and as I was just praying last Sunday night, I was just thinking about, um, you know, us as, um, as humans, as sinners. And a lot of times, you know, we all long to have purpose. We all long, we, we love the idea that we're unique and that God made us. Um, but what happens is when, when we have sexual sin in our lives, um, it starts to slowly just chip away um, at the reason why God created us. Um, and I'm going to give this to Taylor. Um, and a lot of times, you know, every every time that you turn on the computer and you choose to look at porn, every time that you sit in a sex scene in a movie, it starts to slowly chip away at what God has created and, and, and the purpose that God made for you. Um, every time that you choose to um, to go too far, every time that you choose to um, to have sex outside of marriage, every time that you choose something other than God, you are slowly cracking away in what you created. If I tried to pour water in this right now, there's no way that it would be able to hold. It's lost its purpose because it's, it's so cracked right now. The problem is, and the Lord gave me for you guys, the problem is, that a lot of you, and I've been there, a lot of you are trying desperately to hold it together on your own. You're trying to grab the, your, the broken pieces. You're trying to hold your cup together. Like, I've got it. I've got it. It's okay. I can do this. I can hold it together. I'll just, I'll make it work. But the truth is, what you need more than anything is to stop trying to hold your life together and say, I can do this. I don't need anybody. I don't need God. You need total and complete brokenness. When um, he broke this. Um, this is kind of a random thing, but last week, this is a, a Cincy camp. Um, the top of this, uh, I walked into my house and I actually bumped it, totally shattered all over the, the um, just like this, all over our tile. And I was really frustrated. Um, and I mean, it was in a lot of pieces, and I don't know if you guys, I'll show you in a second, but it was in a whole lot of pieces. Um, and Taylor came along, and it, it looked like, because the, I don't know if you can see, but the wax inside of it was holding it together. And so it looked like it was totally fine. And Taylor was like, we have to take the wax out so that I can fix it. I was like, no, 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 it looks pretty. He said, yeah, but as soon as you put heat on it, as soon as you apply a little bit of heat to it, it's just gonna fall apart. And I was like, no, let's just, let's just leave it for a little bit longer because it doesn't look broken. That's where a lot of you are at right now. You might not look broken on the outside, but the truth is you very possibly could be very cracked and broken. But what you need more than anything, and, and what I had to ask Taylor to do, was like, okay, fine, take it out. So he took all the wax out. And the whole thing just fell apart. Totally shattered, fell apart. And I looked at it and I was like, great, awesome. Totally can't be used. Now I can't use this marvelous thing that I got from my sister-in-law. Beautiful thing. Um, Taylor actually pieced by hand every single tiny little broken piece, put it together again, so that not only it can be used, but now there's this, I don't know if you can see, but when you look at it, I can't tip it, you'll have to look at it later, the light shines through the cracks. And I looked at it and I loved it. Um, and it gave me this beautiful analogy that your life, when you allow God to completely break your heart, when you allow him to take your bigger shattered pieces and pick them up, you know, I, I as a creator of this, it's not going to look the same. It's not going to be the, you know, originally the way I designed it to be. 
but it can be used again, and it can be used for the same purpose again. And I can put it back together because I'm the creator. God is your creator, can put you back together. And you're gonna have scars, and you're gonna have battle wounds, and it's gonna hurt, but it's possible to be new again, and it's possible to be that so that you can be used. And the beautiful thing, what I love about this, is that then his light shines through. Then you get to be an example of saying, hey, good, guess what, look what God did. Um, what we're gonna do in a second, Taylor's gonna play for a little bit, um, and we're gonna have four different places around this room. I want you just to be listening as I'm saying these things and kind of clue in to, to where maybe you're supposed to go. Um, brokenness looks like a lot of different things. For some of you, brokenness means that you need to confess that you need to go before the Lord because you've never actually come forward and said, God, I, my life is a mess and I'm living in sexual sin. If that's you, there's gonna be a place over here by the cross. Um, it could be that you that you have stuff in the past that I, for me, I carry the weight of my sexual sin a long, long time. And I, I had guilt that was so heavy and I couldn't get over it because I didn't believe that God could forgive me. If that's you, and this is where you need to be. You need to be at the foot of the cross over here. And we're going to have people that are not praying with you, but praying over you, just asking God um, that you would be able to experience forgiveness. Um, for some of you, um, for some of you, this touches in a little bit different um, way. Some of you, I know, have been abused. Some of you have been violated. Some of you are in the situation where, you know, this maybe wasn't a choice and you feel like somebody has taken something from you and you want God to make, you don't feel whole and you want God to make you whole. Um, in the prayer room, and this is gonna be only only for, for this specifically, in the prayer room back here, if you just wanna talk to somebody um, and, and I know how hard that is, um, but not to confess, but to, to be vulnerable and say, this is, this is what happened and I need somebody to come alongside me. There's gonna be somebody back there in the prayer room. Um, if you are, um, if you feel like, you know, you've already confessed before the Lord, maybe you've confessed to somebody else, but you're like, I just, I don't know where to go from here. There's gonna be people standing in the back of the room, actually back behind the, um, there's tables back there behind that part of the coffee house you can sit with and that are going to pray and, and walk through what it looks like to live in purity. And then finally, I pray, I, I have to believe, I pray that some of you, this makes you want to fight for purity and fight. If you have never, if you've never done anything, if you've never looked at anything, um, then I want you to, you know, you can stand here and, um, and worship and we're going to just pray over you that you would be able to stay strong because it's hard. So um, Taylor's going to pray for a minute, or he's going to play for a few minutes. Um, if you like sitting, or if there's one of those places that you'd rather go, then, um, then you can get up, you can stand up right now, and then we're going to close it up in a little while. So um, let me just pray for you guys, and as soon as I'm done praying, then you can scatter. Holy God, um, I come before you in... Um, knowing that I'm a sinner, you know, you know where I've been, and I am so grateful for your forgiveness, and I know that each day that I have to walk in your word, um, that I'm not strong enough on my own. Forgive us when we feel like we can do it. Lord, I ask for brokenness right now. I just pray that in this room, I, as we just been praying this week, I, I, I feel like that even if it's one person, I feel like there's a student here that just desperately needs to be broken, desperately needs to confess, definitely needs to um, to completely turn and repent. And God, I pray for courage and boldness that they would be so passionate about it that they'd be willing to, to stand and go before you or go before somebody else. Holy God, in this moment, I just ask for your Holy Spirit to come and move and to work in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.